in shock. You know, just it's it's just a shock. This year, the Wise County Heritage Museum building turned 130, and this weekend, it burned down. What the morning for uh, fire chief? The loss is greater than than anything you can imagine. Doug Munson and his wife Suzette donated her father's old peanut farming equipment when he passed a decade ago. The loss, tough to describe. Oh. It matters a lot. Decatur fire officials say it started just before 1 a.m. on the second or third floor. Within 30 minutes of battling it, they had to back out with around 50 firefighters helping to fight. To be the first chief officer on the scene, uh, running the command, it's been a long night. The building initially housed an old college before becoming the museum and home to more than 6,000 books along with works of art. A lot of people came just to see the building. You know, it's, it's a wonderful old building. It also stored countless family keepsakes, a living history where school kids or seniors could still touch the past. You tell your grandchildren the stories that you were told, but then you take them up to the third floor and there was the little store and the little classroom. The most valuable collection was artifacts from the Lost Battalion, a group of soldiers, mostly from North Texas, held captive in Japan during World War II for nearly four years. A lot of stuff gone now that you'll never see again. This is a real, real heartbreaker, but we know that it's, you know, we're, we're gonna be back. The museum's management says there was never a plan for something like this. The hope is some of the county's history can still be salvaged. It was a beloved part of our community and it's just going to take a lot of work to ever bring that back to us. Indicator, I'm William Joy. Mm, irreplaceable. A museum worker told us the originals are probably destroyed, but they do have digital scans of some of those historic papers. Well,